So I'm a huge fan of these space type companies. In fact, two months ago, I made a video on the channel and I discussed some plays that I liked and I felt were still undervalued at that point. Lockheed Martin was actually at the top of that list, one of my biggest picks at the time. I made a bunch of videos talking about this stock. And since those videos, the stock is up 16%, guys, and it's despite the huge volatility and selling many stocks have seen in March. So first off, congratulations to anyone who got in on Lockheed Martin stock. That was kind of a no-brainer investment for me. A lot of us in the VIP group bought into this as well, and we're loving the gain so far. And P.S., I think Lockheed is still trading at a pretty good valuation. It's a long-term winner. Now, another stock that's interesting in this space is Virgin Galactic, ticker symbol SPCE. This one, though, is highly speculative. This one is definitely what you'd call a story stock because all we can go on really is the story that they tell us. And what's happened over the last few weeks with the stock is that it's come down to levels that has my attention. I've never owned the stock in the past, but that may change sometime soon. But that being said, I'm putting this disclaimer right out here at the beginning of this video. This is not financial advice. I am not telling you to go out there and buy Virgin Galactic stock. In fact, I'm not telling you to go out there and buy any stock, do your own due diligence. And this stock specifically here is extremely risky, extremely volatile. There's a high probability that you could make some good money on this, but also a high probability you'll lose your entire investment on this. So if you choose to invest in Virgin Galactic SPCE stock, do so at your own risk. So with that out of the way, you know, I gotta cover myself here. Let's discuss this stock a bit more. Oh, and if you're new to the channel, guys, hit that subscribe button down below to join our community and hit the like button while you're down there as well. Helps the channel out tremendously. So the most obvious reason, in my opinion, that this stock has dropped in the last month and a half or so is because the entire space, no pun intended, you know, the whole SPAC space, high growth, speculative space, they have seen massive drops in the last month. The whole market's corrected. Investors are not interested in those stocks anymore. And it's caused stocks like Virgin Galactic to, you know, literally crash down to the Earth's core. Okay, not literally, but you get what I mean. You gotta remember, this company is still pre-revenue. It's story-based. There's a lot of hype, a lot of speculation. It doesn't really fit the bucket of what the market's looking for today. And that's why it's seen a lot of selling. It's pretty much as simple as that. But you know what? That's the obvious answer. That's what's happened over the last month and a half or so. What happened this last week to cause the stock to sell off is a little bit more interesting and maybe concerning for some investors. We got news Wednesday night that Richard Branson sold over $150 million of this stock. This comes just after one month of Chamath selling his remaining shares in the company as well. So this is definitely not a good look for a company when two of the faces of the business have been selling their shares. How does that make investors feel, right? If you're someone that, you know, you're working hard for your money, which I'm sure all of you are, you put your hard-earned money into the stock and you're like, okay, I'm, I believe in this company. I believe in what they're trying to do. I want to support them. And you see the stock movement higher, you're like, okay, great. But then you see the faces, these billionaires come out and say, hey, we're cashing out. I'm selling my shares. That doesn't really instill confidence in investors. In fact, that probably angers a lot of investors. And I totally understand that perspective. These guys are billionaires, right? Hey, maybe they need some more cash lying around. Maybe they need the money somewhere else for some other investment. Who knows? They got to live their billionaire lifestyle. So no hate Chamath, no hate Richard Branson, but it definitely doesn't set a good tone for us retail investors. But anyways, regardless of what the reason they sold was, the fact is that they have sold and that has added a lot of selling pressure, which contributed to a lot of downside in the stock this past week. Now, what I wanna do is jump over to the charts for a few minutes here, because I wanna show you the levels we've sold off to, and it's looking interesting. So this is what the stock right now looks like for Virgin Galactic, ticker symbol is SBCE. And we can see this is, this is not for the faint of heart. This is a volatile name. This is a stock that's all over the place. You know, one day it could be up massively, next day it could be down massively periods of consolidation this is actually a trader's dream if i'm being honest there's a lot of money to be made in the stock both to the upside and downside now, if i'm looking at the chart pattern this is actually the daily chart we have we can see that in early 2020 we had a big run-up ramp up in the stock and then we all know what happened in march 2020 market crashed this one took a beating dropping under ten dollars per share well, since then, it's kind of recovered slowly but surely. It's been moving up, you know, had some catalyst, earnings, all this stuff. 
popped the stock and then people sold off and then popped again, sold off, popped again, sold off. The trend continued, kept moving higher though, kept making higher lows as we can see here. And then here in early 2021, it's almost like it was deja vu. Same thing happened, stock ramped up. We all know what happened in March 2021 when it comes to SPACs, speculative investments, high growth stocks, and boom, this crashes down once again. Now, initially, this looked like a pretty good buying opportunity, right? It bounced off of this 200 day moving average support, what it broke previously, but it kind of held around this over the last year or so. And investors were like, this is a buying point. I'm going to buy it recovered. They all thought they were geniuses, but then it pulled back and now it's kind of holding this level for the last few weeks. But then this past week, we actually broke down below this. The only other time we've actually broken down significantly below this level in the last year was when the market crashed in March 2020. Stocks got irrational at that point and then, you know, things bounced back quick. Will that happen again here with the stock? It's possible. It's still kind of a little early to tell because the news is still being digested. However, it's definitely looking like a pretty interesting level to buy this stock at. We're in the low 20s now. We were at, you know, the mid 60s at one point significant significant correction here we can see exactly just how much the stock is corrected from its peak currently sitting down 63 percent. so this is definitely an opportunity but is it time to buy right now well the thing is when i look at the weekly this is what really intrigued me we can see we have very strong support here at the 100 weekly moving average right we, again we broke below this in march 2020 quickly recovered came back above that and we've held that for a while we are back at these levels once again. It's at around 2150 or so. That's where the uh, the 100 moving average is on the weekly. And it looks like the stock may actually hold this level. Again, selling pressure is picking up, so we may actually break below it briefly. But if you're looking to get some exposure to the stock, again, not financial advice, but if this is something you've been on your radar looking at for the last year or so, this may be a good time to look into some exposure. I think the technicals look pretty good. The fundamentals, of course, are a different story. This is still a very early stage company, so you're betting pretty much on the story, on the future. So I can't really say much on that aspect because, you know, the story's gotten better over the last year, but there's not really much to show for it yet. However, I'm liking this from a technical perspective, guys. I think what's likely to happen is that we come down, we possibly test this, maybe hover around this level for a bit, and then we may see a nice recovery up. When we do start seeing that recovery up, we'll probably see some resistance on this 50 moving average, which has held a strong support previously. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, stuff going on here at these levels with the stock between the 20 and say $30 range. We may actually move sideways for a little while as well. We'll have to wait and see. But a starter position may not be the worst idea here if you're a believer in the stock long term. So I think there's a lot of information to digest here with this stock. A lot's been changing with this company recently. And if you're invested in the stock, you may want to reevaluate your position. Now you want to see, okay, these big names are selling out. They have their reasons, but do you believe their reasons? Do you believe they're still going to be as dedicated to these companies now, now that they don't have as much vested, you know, dollar wise in these companies? I don't know. And as it comes to me, am I going to be buying this stock? I'm not sure yet. I'll, I'll be thinking about it. If I do, it's going to be a speculative position, a very, very tiny position. So if it goes to zero, not going to make a difference to me. And even if it doubles or triples, eh, okay, I'll make some money. It's not going to be like life changing, but it'll be an interesting ride nonetheless. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to make any promises. I may or may not buy. As of right now, I don't own it. But anyways, guys, I want to hear from you. Do you think this is a buying opportunity in the stock today? Do you think these levels we're seeing in like the low to mid 20s is a good time to buy this stock? I want to hear your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. But either way, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to invest positively and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.